Hi, and welcome to another edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. Now, this is a video I've been meaning to make ever since firmware 2.0 came out for the Nikon Z8 back in February of 24. It's now June. Oh, and by the way, the reason I'm wearing a hoodie, um, it's 80, like 84 degrees out today, but I'm in my basement and with the air on, it gets really cold. So that's why I have a hoodie. It looks like I'm filming this in, in, the, in the winter. Uh, but anyway, so I go out from time to time to the Edwin Foresight Wildlife Refuge in Galloway Township, New Jersey. It's just north of Atlantic City. In fact, when you're at the refuge, you can see the skyline uh, of Atlantic City. At least you can see some of the hotels uh, in Atlantic City. So um, I went out there in early March, not much going on. Uh, I think I got one shot, and we're going to look at some pictures in a little bit. I think I got one shot of a bird in flight. I went back in April, and I got there early. I got there at sunrise, or just before sunrise, because the eight-mile wildlife drive opens at sunrise. Well, on this particular day, it was closed. I don't know why but you couldn't take the eight mile drive. It's an eight mile drive uh, one way. There's water for most of it. There's water on either side of you. And there's usually a lot going on. So I really couldn't uh, drive on it that particular day. So I just hung out in the parking area to see if they were gonna open the drive. And I waited there for a while and they never did, but I did get some sunrise pictures, so it wasn't a total waste. And just a couple birds, uh, some Canadian geese that were in the area uh, and were airborne. So I finally went back the day after Memorial Day, a couple weeks ago. I'm filming this in early June, and uh, it was a little bit better, but. I've waited so long to make this video that I decided to go ahead with it because if I wait any longer, probably they'll be out with firmware 3.0. So we're going to go look at some pictures. Uh, not much. There was not much going on with birds in flight. And uh, let me just talk a little bit about it before we look at the pictures as far as how I feel it worked. And the first time back in March, like I said, there was very little going on, uh, but I had it set for auto area subject detection with, with bird enabled, you know, the specific bird um, mode enabled. Previously, I had good success with the animal mode, all right, subject detection animal, and uh, that will find cats and dogs and other types of uh, mammals, but also work with birds. And I thought that worked very well. So does this specific bird mode work better? I'm really not sure because I didn't shoot enough of it, but it worked. It definitely, at distance, picked up the bird, picked up the head, as it got closer, picked up the eye. Most of the birds that I shot were just wading birds or uh, you know, on the shoreline or on the road on that eight mile uh, path. So uh, we're gonna go look at some pictures, but I think it works good. I've seen other people, other videos read from some other photographers who say that it works great. So uh, I have high hopes for it. I'll try to get back there. Um, but, oh, I was, I was talking about the auto area mode. I think it probably works better if you select one of the smaller area modes. And I used for these pictures in, after uh, Memorial Day, I used um, C1, wide area C1. And with that, you can customize the area. Okay, so let's go look at some pictures and uh, see what you think. Okay, these were a couple shots uh, from March, not long after I installed the software 
and I was set for auto area with bird detection. So they're not bad. They're not tack sharp, but I don't think that's the camera. I think it's more the lens. This was a 7200 with the two time teleconverter at um, like about 6.3. So these are now in April. Uh, this was the day I got there before sunrise, waiting for the wildlife drive to open, and it never did. So I just hung around a little bit and got a few shots. I really, uh, rarely uh, am up at sunrise, so uh, it was nice to get some of these shots. And this was just alongside uh, the parking area at the uh, Edwin Foresight uh, Wildlife Refuge. So I did some verticals, some horizontals, and the camera was set at this point for bird detection. And I was hoping to have a bird fly by and get the silhouette of the bird. Now, this is the only bird shot I got that day. And uh, this was just a little bit away from where those sunset pictures were taken. And uh, that was it. They didn't open the drive and that, you know, I just left. So this was in auto area with, of course, bird detection in dx mode so uh and the pictures you see that will uh, that i took the day after memorial day also was all in dx mode however i switched from auto area to wide c1 with a custom autofocus box and you have a lot of choices here and i just like the horizontal box tried to keep it towards the top of the frame even when I went to uh, vertical and then tried to keep it on the bird, obviously tried to keep it, you know, close to the bird's head. So this bird was just sitting there. And uh, again, I'm all in DX mode for this. And here's a shot with very little cropping. And again, it really picked up the bird. It's kind of a busy situation here, right? With the background is a little busy. And uh, here I cropped this a little tighter. And, uh, you know, the focus is right on the bird. I don't think this lens combination is as sharp, let's say, as a, you know, as a 400, as the 400, 45, or maybe maybe even the zoom at 100 to 400. Again, this was the 70 to 200 with the 2.8 converter. And here's another situation where, you know, there's a pretty busy background, yet it found the bird, it found the, found the bird's eye and stayed right on it. On this uh, on this egret, so I did some vertical, some horizontal, and I got lucky in that uh, the bird took off. So I tried to keep my focus point, my focus box on the bird, and I did okay. But I'm really out of practice with this kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, this year I really haven't done any. I try to. And uh, last year, I think I did a little better, but I shot more of it last year. So here's another egret. There weren't a lot of birds here that day. There were some egrets. There's always those Canadian geese. A few um, other birds. I don't know what that one was in the tree. Maybe some of you know, you could let me know that. And uh, so now I'm driving around, I'm in the car, and um, this bird was right off, right off the road. So I just put the window down this is a, a red-tailed blackbird. There's a lot of them at the uh, Wildlife Refuge there, the Edmund Foresight Wildlife Refuge. And, you know, it found the eye. It focused right on the bird. And uh, I was shooting at 10 frames a second. I've, uh, and I really like this one. In the past, I shot 20 frames a second. In fact, last year when I first got the Z8, I shot 20 frames a second. That was a very busy day. There was a lot of birds and I shot several thousand pictures. And then the problem with that is you got to go through and, you know, pick out the best. So this bird was diving. He kept going up and then coming down, diving. So I tried to keep the focus box on him and you could see his head is black and of course the eye. So, but the, the uh, autofocus pretty much stayed on his head or her head. And uh, unfortunately, where I was positioned, I got out of the car, there was a lot of foliage uh, between me and where the bird was hitting the water. So I really couldn't get him hitting the water. Uh, but I just shot a bunch of frames at 10 frames a second. 
and uh, decent. And this Osprey was just sitting there, did not move. So I was in the car, focused on the bird, hoping it would take off, but it never did. And I, unfortunately, don't have a lot of patience when it comes to this. I didn't feel like sitting there all day waiting for this bird. And this is a situation where that pre-capture feature would come in handy if the bird did take off. But it's very sharp, and I was at a you know good distance at 400 with the teleconverter, and um, you know the equivalent of 400 with the teleconverter, and it's very sharp. And this was cropped a good bit. So here's another uh, egret. It was in a different spot, so less of a busy background, but the light wasn't as good. You could see it's kind of backlit. But again, the camera found the bird. It stayed on the bird as it you know, moved around, but obviously it wasn't moving very fast. And here's some uh, young Canadian geese. And this was pretty easy. Got out of the car and just kept the box on the bird's head as it walked along it very slowly by the side of the road. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I publish a new video every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to respond to all comments and questions. So thank you, and I will talk to you next time.